Penumbra, we started Penumbra, my co-founder and I, Dr. Rani Bose, started it um, almost 20 years ago, um, actually 20 years ago this year, with this idea that um, we thought we could do something um, with, for ischemic stroke patients, patients that have had um, blood clot go up into their brain um, and, and you know, wasn't able to uh, blood flow past that blood clot to the rest of the brain. The idea of interventionally taking out clot, going up through the arteries with a catheter and trying to take out clot was pretty novel at the time. And, and there was a lot of question, there were a lot of challenges physically on how to do that. Um, 20 years later, um, we've continually improved and innovated on that technology that we started on all those years ago and now expanded to the rest of the body. So dealing with not only clot in the brain, but clot in arteries in your legs, your veins, or deep vein thrombosis, pulmonary embolism, which is a huge issue. Um, and the technology just advanced and advanced a lot over the 20 years to to the point where now it's really sort of joining, you know, the mainstream. It's it's now sort of the thing one should do if they have the opportunity. Um, so we're entering that new phase, and it's it's kind of fun. Acute clot in the body, wherever it is, is still one of those big issues, you know, that that has not yet been fully solved. And so we're getting close. Well, for PE, um, uh, um, you're you're talking about a big space, you know, two sides of the lungs and and a fairly large volume of clot in a lot of these patients. Um, and so you have to remove that very effectively, quickly, not removing, you know, too much blood, you know, that that isn't clot. So really dif differentiating between that um, and um, doing it, you know, the the three challenges that we've always sort of designed to our safety. Obviously, our device has to be extremely safe. It can't be harmful. Um, it has to be fast. The faster you do it, the better it is for everyone and simple so that it's sort of a democratized procedure. Um, and those are really the the challenges. I think that's, you know, again, when we talk about the technology, that that's where we've really pushed it to, to try to satisfy those three things. So Lightning Flash was a product we launched last year in 2023, and then 2.0 is the updated version. The reason that nomenclature is there, 1.0 or 2.0, is that Lightning Flash was really the, the start of um, using what we call computer-assisted vacuum thrombectomy, um, or CAVT. Um, and that's where the computer itself is part of the device, and it's doing the work. It's opening and closing the, the aspiration valve. So the, the mechanism of removing clot is, is suction. You know, we're in effect, you know, sucking out that clot. Um, but up until more recently, the valve, you know, was opening and closing by the human hand. There was a little button on the catheter and you would open and close it with the human hand. So if you were in clot, you wanted it open. If you were not in clot, just in flowing blood, you would want to close so that you wouldn't just suck out blood. And you can only do that so fast and you're not knowing exactly where you are because you're doing these procedures looking at an angiogram, you know, not a live image. And so the real up, you know, the change was having a computer sense the pressure differential in the artery or the vein um, so that it can open and close automatically at a much faster pace. And Flash 2.0 is a software update as opposed to a physical catheter update that changed the algorithm for opening and closing that valve. Um, it made the fidelity, if you will, for lack of a better term, much higher so that the sensitivity of I'm in the clot, I'm not in the clot is now much faster. So it's the valve is open when you're in clot and it's closed much faster when you're not in clot and open much faster when you are so that you can get a lot more clot out much faster with even less, uh, you know, potential blood loss that comes from that.
there's a couple of different, um, we are running uh, in PE, we're running a, what's called a, a randomized clinical trial against what's the typical standard, you know, tr historical standard care, which is giving them an anticoagulant um, medication. Um, uh, that trial is underway. In addition, there's um, uh, more of a, a single arm study just to collect data on the performance, you know, time and other metrics around the procedure, um, as well as sort of quality of life post-treatment, um, which is important. Um, one of the benefits of having a safe treatment like this um, compared to, you know, historical treatments is you're better right away, you know, and, and you're discharged more often to home as opposed to a uh, you know, a, a rehab facility or a skilled nursing facility or something. A lot of people have complained having had PEs and gotten anticoagulation that, you know, they, they, they live, but, you know, they've not felt well for many, many months, sometimes longer, you know, where there's a, a hard tightening in their chest, their breathing is hard because the clot hasn't resolved and it takes a long time. So those are the kinds of things that we're sort of collecting and measuring. Um, and obviously just the acute success of, you know, wow, we just did a five minute case and the patient's better. <laughs>